A well-known city commissioner has been allegedly accused of scamming a 96-year-old constituent. Florida Department of Law Enforcement investigators believe Regina Hill used that money to treat herself to a facelift, a trip to Miami, and more. Now, that woman's attorneys are fighting to keep Hill away from her and her money. New 6 investigator Eric Sandoval spoke to Commissioner Hill today about the allegations. We found out the Florida Department of Law Enforcement was actually tipped off about this last year by a former aide of Regina Hill's who was fired from her job. They've spent the last year looking into this, and they tell us their investigation isn't over yet. Newsix got a hold of these investigative documents that claim, among other things, Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill fraudulently established power of attorney over a 96-year-old woman. Investigators say that power of attorney allowed her to secure a mortgage in the woman's name and co-purchase this home in the Lake Man Estates area of Orlando without the woman even knowing about it. They say Hill then allowed her son and his girlfriend to live in it. They also claim Hill moved into this house about a mile away in the Washington Shores neighborhood that was once owned by the elderly woman's parents. They claim Hill used the woman's money to renovate the inside and didn't pay rent. FDLE investigators also claim that Hill used more than $100,000 of the woman's cash and credit cards to pur- This is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 6. Coverage you can count on. All new at 6. An Orlando City Commissioner is under investigation tonight, accused of buying a facelift and other lavish items with an elderly woman's trust. We've got live team coverage breaking down those purchases as well as the alleged relationship between that commissioner and the victim, according to a new lawsuit. And we begin with those accusations against District 5 Commissioner Regina Hill. Good evening, I'm Greg Warmoth. And I'm Kirsten Delgado. Commissioner Hill is accused of taking advantage of a 96-year-old woman spending tens of thousands of dollars of her money on things like rental cars, clothing, and a vacation. Investigative reporter Shannon Butler joins us live in studio with more on this breaking state investigation. Shannon? Well, this affidavit shows that Commissioner Regina Hill has been under an FDLE investigation for more than a year, accused of misconduct. The allegations in this paperwork include taking money from a 96-year-old constituent. The list of purchases spelled out right here include a facelift, perfume, a hotel stay in Miami, car insurance, and dental surgery. The withdrawals from the woman's account total more than $100,000. According to these documents, Hill and the 96-year-old woman had no prior relationship. It started when Hill became aware that the woman was living in deplorable conditions back in 2021, and it was her former aide who spoke to investigators here. We are just looking at the finances, and according to the FDLE investigator, the elderly woman had more than $164,000 in the bank, but now 100000 of it gone and charges on her credit card they say are now at nearly 10 grand the woman told investigators that she didn't give hill permission to use that money but hill is not quoted in these documents but she told us on the phone today the allegations are false now fdle did not comment further on the investigation and hill has not been charged with a crime but if hill is charged she could be removed from office and a special election could be held the city said they had no information on our report, Greg. All right, some reporting there. We will check back in. And Shannon, while we are not naming the woman involved, Commissioner Hill is accused of taking advantage of that 96-year-old woman. We do know that she has been a longtime fixture there in the Paramore community. And until recently, Commissioner Hill had power attorney over that woman. She was also a trustee for her estate. Channel 9's Nick Papantonis continues our breaking team coverage tonight live on Lewis Court, where neighbors say Hill was living until just last week. Nick? They, they told me authorities came to this door behind me last week and told Commissioner Hill to get out. But this is not the only house being looked at in the city of Orlando or around the city tonight. No one was home when we stopped by 170 Domino Drive Tuesday. The only sign of life was a City of Orlando dumpster parked in the driveway. Property records show the house has two owners, a 96-year-old we're going to call M and Orlando Commissioner Regina Hill. 
The house is now the center of a lawsuit filed earlier this month accusing Hill of taking advantage of M for years and a connected criminal investigation. The lawsuit says a declining M granted Hill power of attorney in 2021, which Hill used to give herself and her son places to live and access to more than $100,000. Documents filed with Orange County show Hill named herself a trustee to M's estate, even signing the document on behalf of M and used M's name to take out at least one mortgage in connection with Domino Drive. We also went to 3408 Lewis Court, another home owned by M. Neighbors say Hill lived in this house from August until last week when authorities showed up at the door to tell her to leave. The neighbors told us they thought it was because the house wasn't in Hill's district, but it happened a few days after a judge granted an injunction against Hill. When we called Hill about the accusations, she told us they were false and she retained an attorney to fight them. And that's okay, but do you mind telling me who your attorney is? She refused to comment any further or tell us who that attorney was. M revoked Hill's power of attorney in February. One of the things named in that criminal investigation that Shannon was talking about just a moment ago is that Hill took a federal loan for the Domino Drive house, the, the house that according to the affidavit, attorneys or the investigators believe was signed or had some fraudulent signatures as a part of buying that house. Live in Orlando, Nick Papantonis, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. The CD Kia 500 is back. Bigger and